Hey guys, this is Force Phoenix, and uh, this video is going to help you guys to be able to know what the menus do and what all the items do in Oreno Kazoku. So, yeah, this is just going to be a short video to help you with the menus and everything. Okay, first of all, um, this is the menu, obviously. This is exit to quit the game because you it's, uh, it's raining in English. This is to start the game. This is to create a character. And this is for the options. Which is basically the options is just to change the default controls. Which you should really leave those alone. Uh, unless you don't like them. There's also an option to plug in a controller to play the game. So that'll be a little better for you guys if you like it better with controls. Um, anyway. Oh yeah, that was the back button by the way, the bottom button. Let me uh, go back there to show you guys. Uh, just go back here. Um, you got this one, which is all the main venue buttons, and then when you're done um, configuring everything, you like it the way it is, uh, you just push this button right here, which is next to the keyboard option. And there you go. You can take it back to the main menu. Now, um... Uh, next thing I want to show you is the uh, character creation screen, which is this one right here. You don't really create a character, you just um, pick an avatar. Now, um, this is the avatar creation screen. The first option is you name your avatar. Uh, obviously, we don't know what these are, but, obvi but um, luck fortunately, if you keep pushing V, no, not V, um, I'm sorry, C, menus change, you can get to this English option right here, which you can actually name your character in English. I've already done that, so I don't need to do this right now. This is just for the sake of you guys, so I'm just going to name it the character name. And there we go. When you're done, you push your B. And there you go. I got your character name. Uh, the second tab is to pick a character, which you have these selection of characters. Not a very big list, but you know. Um, I'm not sure what any of them do, because the only one I've ever messed with is Shauna. Um, but you guys can experiment with these different characters if you want. Um, so I'll just go back. And then you go to this tab right here, which is to pick your stats. You can choose strength, vitality, agility, intellect, dexterity, and luck. You have 30 points to start off with. If not, you can actually just start the game right away. But this is just to, um, it's just a starter, so uh, I'm just gonna go like full out attack, so I'm just gonna do some, let's put some strength. Uh, vitality. And then you push this button down here to uh, continue, and then when everything you have it is the way you want it, push the last tab, that's to save. Which, I am not going to save the character because I already have one as you can see up there. Um, but yeah, you can have up to two characters, character 0 and character 1. Yeah, you can overwrite this one or make a new character altogether. So yeah, that's how the menus work. I'm not going to save it, that was just a secret you guys. Now onto the gameplay in itself. There's not that much you need to know about the gameplay in general. Let's just start it up. Uh, this is the startup screen which you're going to see when you start the game up every single time. You can have up to four players locally. I'm not sure how to get this game online because I don't know why, but it has online in the name of the, the game. So I'm not sure if you can play online or not. But um, this is the starter screen. You can choose player 1, player 2, player 3, or player 4. I'm pretty sure player 1 and player 2 uses the keyboards, and player 3 and player 4 uses gamepads. Um, but either way, I'm pretty sure all of them can use gamepads, but for this case I'm going to push the Z so it can be player 1. And there's my character. You can um, go left or right to choose different characters that you have, which in this case I only have one, so I'm not going to have any other characters there. Okay, so let's enter the world, you push OK, and then you see the blinking login up there, you have to click it again, log in. Then you're taken to this menu right here. This is basically the stage menu, which you get uh, the different stages here, stage 1, stage 2, stage 3, stage 4, stage 5, stage 6, and stage 7. 
Um, and you get the town. The town is what I'm really going to explain. Um, because this is going to be really confusing to some people that are going to play the game and they don't really know much about the town options. Uh, first of all, the first player right here, I forget his name. It's been a while since I've seen that anime, but whatever. Um, he saves the game. The first option is to save, so that is important. If you do not save and you close the game, everything you have done will not be there when you come back to play. So be sure you save the game. The second option is to quit and go to the main menu. The third option, I'm not sure what it does, but I just don't mess with it since I could just push X or I think. Yeah, okay, it just tells it. Okay, now I know what it does. It just cancels the talk. So that's what that one does. Now, the next one here, I think her name is Nagato. Oh, and we got Haruhi right there. Don't know why. Um, okay. Just, come on, skip, skip, skip. skip. Okay, this is the shop. Now the first option is to buy up items. Now each character is only going to have one row per item depending on which character you picked. In this case I have Shauna, which this is her row. Different swords. Uh, the sword's not going to change the way her katana looks, but this is the shop right here. You have... the bottom right there is obvious, it tells you how much the item costs. Now if you actually look at my character portrait, under experience you see level 3, and then you see M. That's how much money I have. You'll be collecting money all over the place. So, that's how much money you'll have, and almost every mom drops money, so you don't have to worry about that. It's just the fact that how much these things cost is exp it's just crazy. And then you get all these different um, HP bonus, strength, intellect, you know, it just helps with your stats. Um, be advised though, if you can see right, right where the price is, you see that arrow? Yeah, that's basically telling you that that's an upgrade weapon, and if an arrow is pointing sideways, it means it's equal to the weapon you already have. But if you see an X, it means the character cannot use this weapon whatsoever, or he can't use the item. As you can see, if you go down here, these items cannot be used. And over here as well. And these as well. Now, the second tab is basically, you can see they don't change. This is a sell option. Now, that may be a little confusing to some of you, but this is how it works. When you upgrade a weapon, you're going to keep the other weapon you had in your inventory. What you can do is you can actually sell that item. Even though you can't see it, you can sell it. And that'll give you some money that'll help you out. So let's say um, I buy this one. And then this was my latest one before I had that one. I can sell this one, and then I'll be done with it. That's the only item I have. You can do that with everything here. So that's the sell tab right there. And then that's to leave the shop. Next, we're going to go to the armor vendor, which I forget her name as well. Whatever. It's basically the same thing, not much you need to know. Every character, I think, has their own different armors, or I'm not sure about that, because I haven't played anyone else other than Shauna. But you got all these different things right here. Plus, the pluses, I'm not sure what they increase, but, you know, it's obviously better. Then you got the HP one, the strength one, and the luck, which, these are better, because this one... I think this is for armor purposes, but this one also gives you stats with the armor. So this one's obviously the best one, because it gives you 30 armor and um, 30 luck. So yeah, same thing, sell tab, you got the item, you can sell it. So that's pretty much self-explanatory. Then you go to the item shop, which is basically the same thing, buy and sell. Then you go to the last one potions vendor. Now here's the thing you need to know about potions. No matter what level you are, these potions will level up with you, meaning the potions will heal your SP and HP depending on what level you are, so it'll increase. Like let's say for now, um, for example, let's say the HP potion heals only 50, and you go up in level, that'll go up to let's say 80, and so on and so forth, you get it. Same thing with the potions. And then if you don't want potions anymore, you can sell them, which I don't know why anybody would do that. Oh. And then leave. And then that's it. Um, you got training dummies here to test it, which the attack buttons are Z, X, and C for default. C is jump. But if you double tap it... So I do a tornado spin. Uh, v does a special attack, but you use SP for using it. Now, 
Um, the next thing we're going to bring up is your menu, which that's you push F to open it up. You got your skills, status, equipment, and items. Now let's start with the status first of all. Every time you level up, be sure you mess with your stats because this is what's going to help you kill stronger mobs, which I still have two points, so let's just increase strength. Um, yeah, so be sure every time you level, you have to go to this stats menu or else you're not going to get any stronger. Now, next tab is equipment. You have three different equipment tabs. This is for your weapons, armor, and items. Now, your weapons is very simple to understand. You're going to be in a circle just like the main menu. The E stands for equipped, so that's what weapon you have now. If there was another weapon there, you could just cycle through it, push Z, default, and you'll equip that item. Now let's push X, X is to go back, and then we go to the items, same thing, cycle through your different items, and then push Z to equipped, and then your arm, wait, oh, my bad, items, same thing. Now the next tab is your item screen, it's not the same thing as equipment, this is where you have your potions, which, well, I closed the menu because I don't have any on me right now, uh, yeah, but when you have a potion, well, you know what, it just goes an example. Just buy one of those, and buy one of those. Okay. Now, there you go. That's what it's going to look like. Cycle through the HP one, or the SP one. That's what it's going to look like. Let's go back. Now, the last one is the skill. Each character has their own unique skills. Which, this one is a flame strike, which you've seen that one, which I jabbed the, f the flaming sword into my opponent. This one's a flaming slash, which is basically the same thing, except it's like a slash kind of thing. And then this one, it's like a berserk mode, which increases my attack power like crazy. So yeah, each one has their own special abilities, um, you can just mess with them. So yeah, you can figure out what those do. Now, moving on, let's go, like, let's say you want to leave a town, you go here. He's always going to bug you with the option. Just push Z, because that's gonna always going to be the option to leave. This is to cancel. So we leave, and we're at the map screen. Now, every time you get to a new map, you always have a new quest, which, if I go to stage one, I already got the quest. You just go up to him, talk to him, yada yada yada, P keep pushing Z, since unless you can read Japanese, then you can read the story plot, but if you can't, uh, just keep pushing Z, and you'll accept the quest anyway. Now, as you can see at the bottom, that's what your quest is. I have to collect 100 rabbit tails. Uh, each quest will do that for you. And, um, the first quest is easy. At the end of every dungeon that you do, there's usually a boss. Um, sometimes the boss is the only way to get the items, but it's not always going to be like 100, get 100 this, get 100 that. It's usually just going to get one of these items, one of that item, and normally the item can be found off the boss. Now, uh, let's do gameplay-wise. Now, be advised, these enemies are so easy to kill that, um, well, yeah. Now, sometimes the enemies will drop items, like, let's say, hold on. Yeah. Well, the first enemy I could have used it as an example, but um, if they don't drop any items and let's say you took some damage, you can actually kill these leaves right here, and it'll drop some HP and some extra coins. Sometimes it'll drop mana potions, which you do not pick those up. The HP potions and the mana potions, which right there, you don't pick them up. Even if you have full, you always use them, and they do not add to your inventory, as you can see right here. Items, one and one. I picked one up, I still have one. It does not count. So anyway, when you beat all the characters on the screen, you have the option of going a different panel. Which, the panel is completely up to you to go. It's just your job is to do your quest, and there. Um, not these guys that I'm supposed to kill. See, they drop money, and there I just got 110. Oh, uh, well, you're one. There's the bunny. As you can see, you dropped his tail, and I just leveled up. And remember, every time you level up, be sure you increase your stats, which I'm going to do right now. So at a screen, as you can see, you get a couple points. And let's go with agility, since I don't really have that many points in there. Okay. And you got different, um, you can find different dun different um, treasures, which you can just beat them up. It usually has like a ton of money, but other than that, it has um, HP bottles or MP bottles, or uh, my bad, SP. 
Uh, yeah. And, um, keep killing monsters because, um, give the chance of, uh, getting a weapon without having to buy it, but you saw how expensive they were in the shop, and for some reason I'm getting framing lag. Um, yeah, as you can see how expensive they were in the shop. You can actually just farm these guys for uh, experience all day. Leveling is really easy in this game, only if you're fighting the right mobs. Um, let's see, see these little cream puff guys, they're not really giving me that much, oh, there it goes. They're not really giving me that much experience. But the bunnies, they give me a ton. Just gotta pick up the rabbit tails, and that's basically the first mission. Just collect 100 rabbit tails. And that's basically all you need to know about this game. So, um, you guys need any more help? I'll, um, I'll be more than happy to answer it. And, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.